welcome back so in this uh, part we will see how to send a pdf file to twilio account i mean to whatsapp account using twilio so uh, let's start uh, developing uh, how to send a uh, pdf file to whatsapp account using twilio so if you go to the twilio documentation so you can see like uh, how to send a uh, what are the things which needs to be done in the uh, sending a message from a Node.js application? So since we've been using a cloud function, so which is uh, having a, a Node.js. So if you see in the package the JSON, you can see like the engine has been uh, using Node. So we can use this uh, part for the installation, and uh, even like uh, to send a normal SMS, we'll be using this functionality. But in our case, like uh, we are sending an attachment. So for that, like uh, in the documentation, what they've provided is like, uh, we have to send the document in a media URL form. So the PDF which we are creating will be in a, uh, which will be in a base 64 format. So we cannot directly send an, uh, a PDF file. I mean, a, directly send that one so instead what we need is like we need a uh, media URL I can so we have to uh, upload this PDF file which we are generated to a cloud storage or any other storage from there we have to get that URL and uh, we have to pass that URL to our Twilio uh, configuration so that uh, we'll be receiving the PDF file so for this purpose what we'll do is like uh, I uh, will uh, split this task into three parts like uh, first we'll uh, try to uh, send the uh, PDF file which we have generated to our cloud storage then from there we'll uh, receive that uh, URL on the success of our uh, uploading so from that like we'll uh, start doing the installation of Twilio and the final part will uh, uh, write the message configuration or like uh, how to send a message from our Twilio to our WhatsApp account. So for this, we'll uh, first start with our cloud storage function. Like, uh, so first thing, like uh, what we need is like whenever a, a user says like uh, generate the send it in WhatsApp. So what will happen is here. We'll close the send email. So this WhatsApp handler will be get called. Then the PDF will be get generated. So once it is generated, we will be sending that generated PDF to our cloud storage. So on the success of our cloud storage, uh, storing the data, I mean the PDF file in the cloud storage, we'll uh, return that uh, in that success block. What we'll do is like we'll send a uh, WhatsApp message to our account, and along with that uh, PDF file URL, which we'll receive from uh, the cloud storage after uh, uploading the document. So we'll do that part now. So the first thing is like we'll create a cloud storage uh, in our GCP console. So we'll open the GCP console. So and again, this is what, what another way like uh, how you can uh, upload a PDF file to our cloud storage so we can learn uh, one more uh, way like uh, so we can learn the different ways we can uh, generate a pdf as well as like uh, we can send directly to an email as well as like upload to somewhere and use that url so we'll uh, use this things here so we'll uh, click on so once the uh, gcp platform is opened so we'll click on the storage so you can see it in the resource or if you're uh, on the navigation bar you can see that option like a storage so you can choose uh, any other uh, you can choose either this way or you can uh, choose directly the storage bucket so once it is uh, opened so we're, what we will do is like we will create a bucket so we will create a new bucket and uh, so we will give a name like date tracker and then uh, date like 2820 20. and then uh, we'll uh, uh, make these things configuration as being like a default we do, don't want to change unless it is a need so we'll uh, do, just do the continue and then we'll create the bucket so 
so now the bucket has been created so the next thing what we have to do is like uh, we have to get the credentials like uh, so whenever we are going to upload something to our um, to this bucket so we need to get that uh, credentials so for that what we'll do is like uh, we'll go to the api and services uh, file and then we'll enable a new api and services so we click on that uh, enable button not this one so we'll just go back so in the api and services option we'll click on the credentials and then we'll create a new credential that is a service account then we we'll, can give the uh, name like date tracker service account name this is like for a date tracker uploading PDF files to cloud storage. So it's an optional one, so we can give it out. So then we'll uh, choose the role. So in our case, it will be like for the storage. So we'll uh, click on the. Uh, we'll just filter that storage, and we'll click on the storage admin. Like uh, we'll give a full access. And then we'll continue. So this is like a granting your users. So we'll leave this part optional. We'll click done. So uh, just once it is done, we just scroll down. You can see in uh, the name of the project which we have created, like a day tracker. So here you can see that name, the tracker, uh, the name, the service key name which we have created. So we'll just select that one. Then we'll scroll down and uh, select that add key option. So we'll, uh, choose like a create a new key, and then we'll uh, select JSON, and then we'll create that key. So now that a key will be get downloaded to our local uh, machine so we can close this part for now and we can save this part as well so now we'll uh, go back to our cloud storage so we'll open that bu uh, storage bucket so uh, right now we'll uh, keep it as it is like uh, we'll do some changes in our code and then uh, we'll come back here so once that uh, json file is downloaded so we'll just go to our uh, downloads directory or the place where your file gets downloaded we'll just copy that one and then we'll go to our action so the day tracker action so inside that functions folder we'll just paste this one so now this uh, JSON file has been pasted here. So don't worry about this naming convention since like uh, the project name which we have created is like a day track, a COVID tracker. So that's the reason we are getting the file name as like COVID tracker. So even if you see here like the project name is COVID tracker, so that's the reason uh, we are getting the file name as this. So just leave that one as it is. So now if you see here like uh, you can see that. Uh, JSON file has been uh, available. So the next thing what we'll do is like uh, we have to in, uh, add that uh, cloud storage package. So for that we will what we'll do is like uh, we'll go to the npm package manager. And we'll give the name will be cloud storage npm, and we'll select this one. Then we'll copy that uh, command to install that package in our uh, machine so we'll uh, hit enter So now that uh, package has been uh, installed, 
so now we'll uh, write some logics in our code to access the storage as well as to send the pdf file so for first thing what we will do is like we'll import that uh, cloud storage package so we'll uh, import that storage like const storage equal to require then uh, add google cloud storage and then what we have to do next is like we have to set up our uh, cloud storage so for that what we'll do is like we'll be using this key uh, in our storage so we'll uh, do the setup for our cloud storage Uh, first thing what we'll do is like uh, we'll create a const variable named gc it's a google cloud then we'll give the name like storage so inside the storage we need a uh, two params that is like a key file name so we have to copy this path the covid tracker uh, file name to here as well as well as like we have to have the project id so these two things we need uh, we need it here so to copy that uh, key file name so what we'll do is like we we'll use a path pop join uh, so for that we'll uh, import that uh, header so const path equal to require of path and then in the cloud the key file so we'll give the name like path dot join and the directory name comma and then our file name that is the JSON file which we are having and then the project ID so for the project ID what we can do is like uh, instead of writing here we can uh, use a const file so now we'll uh, create a const file so we'll just create a folder so we'll just create a new folder like a const tans. so in that uh, what we'll do is like we'll uh, write all our const files so in that uh, index.json we'll just open that uh, environment as well so for a reference so we'll give the project id equal to the project id which we are going to have and as well as like uh, the bucket name and once these two things are added we'll, uh, module.export soft equal to project id comma bucket name so we'll export these two things so uh, we'll copy the bucket name and the project id from the gcp console or else you can use that uh, json file which you have downloaded so there you can uh, see the project id and the bucket name so that's your choice so we'll just copy the project name as well i mean the project id So we'll just save this guy and we'll go to our index file and uh, here what we can do is like we need both the things so for now uh, we just take that project id so use the require path So from the const directories, we can take that one. So we we'll copy this project ID and paste it here in the top set up, cloud storage setup. And then we will be having our uh, bucket name here. So we will uh, create the bucket name. So const date tracker bucket is equal to 
gz dot bucket of the bucket name so we can give it like a bucket name here so just take this guy away we'll uh, put it here the bucket name so now the bucket name and the top project id has been added so now the top cloud storage setup has been get completed so the next step is like uh, we have to send the pdf file to the user i'm sorry uh, to the cloud storage once uh, a user chooses whatsapp so in that case what we we'll do is like uh, so we'll just look at the reference of uh, sms like how we have done so now we have uh, in the pdf file we have got the data so once the user says send whatsapp so first thing we'll do is like we'll go to the fire store and take the data so once the data has been received so we'll uh, create a pdf file we'll generate the pdf file with that uh, data which we are having so after that so we'll uh, remove this block of quotes which is not needed so the after that what we'll do is like uh, we'll convert uh, that pdf data to a base 64 string so we'll I'll do an await here and uh, generate a base 64 of this pdf data so once it is done uh, the next thing is like what we have to do is like a uh, uh, um, so after the uh, base 64 success so we have to uh, make a stream to upload this uh, data to our cloud storage so for that streaming what we'll do is like we'll create a function so name it as bucket stream or, uh, or we can give like a okay we can give the name like a bucket stream so then we'll create a new function named as PDF upload and then we'll pass this base64 data to this PDF upload function and we'll uh, create a new function named as a PDF upload so we'll just create a new function named PDF upload and we'll receive the data here then what we have to do is like a uh, so in the uh, generate base 64 we are just generating that one so we'll uh, give a file uh, we'll give a name for our file so const file name equal to date tracker then we we'll use moment We'll use the Unix format that is like it will create a timestamp of the current time. So we'll use that as a file name. And then we'll give the extension PDF. And after this, what we have to do is like we have to create a file. So const file equal to the bucket name uh, which we have created earlier. So we have to copy that name. Uh, so we copy this day tracker bucket day tracker bucket dot file of this file name and then we'll create a variable named buffer and in this buffer what we do is like buffer dot from the data which we have received so it will be get converted to a binary dot to string of ut format so after that we'll uh, do a streaming so that is called stream equal to file dot create write stream so in the, inside this right stream we'll give a metadata so it will be an object so the content type for this meta application will be like applications as pdf 
so after this part we'll close this one so then we'll uh, open that stream so stream on so if there is any error so we'll just get that error then we'll print it in a log like uh, error in stream so we'll print that one then we'll uh, and one more thing like a stream on finish so we'll add this guy out and then here we'll uh, print up a log like a file uploaded successfully So till this we'll do and we'll check whether the data has been uh, uploaded properly or not and then we add our alleged case then we add a buffer here and then we use a new buffer then a buffer a variable which we created and base64 Till this we have done so what we can do is like uh, we we'll use a promise so similarly what we have done here so in that case what we'll do is like uh, we'll return a new promise return new promise of result so inside this return we'll uh, move our data in the logics which we have returned So on uh, finishing, then uh, we'll resolve it. Uh, file added. So we'll just uh, name like this, and then we'll go back to our streaming uh, WhatsApp handler. Then we'll add our conversation like a bucket stream. So we'll just keep it like a. So once this part has been get completed, so we'll be getting a message like file added to storage. So we'll check this part first. So once this part works fine, means then we write up the logics on uh, how to say, uh, create a media URL and then how to send up uh, that uh, URL to a WhatsApp uh, using Twilio. So that logic we can uh, handle it. So first thing like uh, we'll check this things like uh, the cloud storage part like once a file whether the file gets added or not so let's uh, deploy this function so we'll wait for the deployment to be get completed so you can uh, for uh, uploading a file to cloud storage so you can look at the documentation like uh, just been uh, provided the package manager itself so how uh, they've been using the storage and uh, so what are the ways to create a bucket and uh, adding a permission or to delete a file so those things you can uh, check it out in the documentation So we'll wait for the deployment to be get completed. So meantime, what we can do is like, uh, so we'll uh, just uh, make a recap of what are the things we have done. So first thing, like we have created a bucket, and uh, using a, by giving a bucket name. So and uh, keeping all the rest of the configuration as it is. So once a uh, bucket has been created, so we have gone uh, gone to the APIs slide, APIs and services, and then we have clicked on the credentials then we created a new credential of the service account by filling up the details so once the credential has been created so we have came to the service account 
and then we have copied that uh, uh, a JSON file for our uh, uh, for the day tracker action. So we have copied, downloaded that file. And then we have go back uh, to our application, and then we copied that uh, JSON file here. And then we have imported the Google Cloud Storage package. So after installation, so what things we have done is like a we have imported the cloud storage uh, header, and then we have created a path, uh, imported the path header to combine this uh, JSON file with our application. Then we have set uh, we have set up the cloud storage configurations like uh, the key file name as well as the project ID. And then we created a bucket, so the bucket name which we have created earlier. So we now we have moved those things to a constant file, so it can be seen here. After that, what we have done is like uh, we have uh, write some logics. So once a PDF file has been created, is in the uh, base 64, we pass the data to the PDF upload. So in that PDF upload function, so what we have done is like uh, we have created a file name, and then uh, we have passed that file name to the uh, bucket. And then we created a buffer. So we started with streaming of that bucket with uh, adding the content type. And then we started streaming like uh, to upload the data. So once the stream get completed, so we'll resolve it. And uh, so once the stream get ends, we'll be stopping this process. So after uh, resolving, so we are uh, getting that uh, data here. So and then we are just uh, showing it on our assistant console as a response so till this we have done so we will uh, wait for the deployment so I think it is taking a little bit of time it is not yet started itself so we will uh, redeploy it one more we will deploy it one more time And the reason for doing this uh, thing is like uh, we cannot uh, send the direct PDF file to Twilio, uh, I mean to WhatsApp using Twilio since like uh, they, uh, we, we should be able to only send it via uh, as an URL and as an HTTP or HTTPS URL. So that's the reason we have uh, made the changes like uh, create, uh, uploading this uh, PDF file to a cloud storage and then from there we will be getting a response. So with that response, we'll be uh, sending the message to WhatsApp. So that's the reason we have been using this cloud storage uh, functionality here. So the deployment has not yet started, so we wait uh, until the deployment gets completed. So now the deployment is get completed, so we'll test our action. So we'll uh, invoke our action. Got it. Getting the test version of Day Tracker. Welcome to Day Tracker. So we'll choose No. Would you like to see the places you have visited earlier? Okay, we'll Thank you. Go. When you go out, tell me where you have went. Till then, stay safe. So I'll uh, do it one more time. Like we have choose uh, no instead of yes. All right. Getting the test version of Day Tracker. Welcome to Day Tracker. Did you went out today? So we'll choose no. Would you like to see the places you have visited earlier? So we'll uh, choose yes. Here is the list of places you have visited. Would you like to receive the report? So we'll uh, choose yes. Would you like to receive the report through email or WhatsApp? So we'll choose WhatsApp. So meantime, like uh, first we'll go to our bucket. 
just want to make sure like there is nothing uh, in there so in the day tracker bucket so there is no data so now we'll choose whatsapp file added to storage so now we are getting the success message so the first thing what we can do is like so we'll see whether we are getting this video file has been uploaded here or not so we'll refresh the page and here we go like uh, we are receiving the pdf file here so the pdf file has been uploaded successfully so we can uh, click on the download part so here you can see the pdf file which we are just been generated is available in our cloud function so the next step what we have to do is like uh, in this bucket uh, so one more step is like a uh, uh, we have to give a public access to this bucket since like uh, you know, to send the, it as a URL so we need as access uh, for to you so what we'll do is like we'll click on the permissions and then we'll uh, in the permissions like you can see here like we click on add and then uh, for the new members we'll give it like all users so it will be like so all users can see this one so we can uh, choose the role so for the cloud storage so we'll uh, choose the uh, admin option and then we'll uh, save this part so we'll uh, just make it as allow public access one and we just uh, go back here so we'll uh, open this bucket one more time so here you can see like uh, it's been uh, public to internet option like for this bucket so we'll open this one again so now if you see here like it's been uh, public to internet so we'll copy this url so we'll just go and paste it here so now if you see here like uh, the file uh, the storage apis slash that uh, project id which we are having plus the file name which we have created is being here 